Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a car coming out from the wheel transition effect easy in After Effects, let's begin. First of all let's scroll to the clip we are going to make a transition on and then duplicate it. Now make sure you are at the beginning of a duplicated one and then right click on it, go to time and select freeze frame. Scroll 80 frames backward, hold shift and press page up 8 times. Now move that duplicated layer there and then cut the ending of it. So now since we have a still image, we can mask out the car, let's grab a pen tool and mask the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, pre-compose that layer. I will name it car only and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. So the first step is ready and now we have to mask out the wheel as well. Let's scroll to the beginning of your wheel clip and then apply a Mocha AE on it. If you don't have Mocha, you can use any of masking tools, or you can even use a roto brush tool, but I highly recommend to download and install Mocha AE. In Mocha let's select an ellipse tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and click on tracking button. As the tracking is finished, click on save and close Mocha. Now expand matte and click on create AE masks. Let's duplicate that layer now and on a duplicated one press M on a keyboard and change mask mode to subtract to invert the mask and make the car visible again. So now we have two masked layers, top is a car with no wheel and bottom one the wheel without the car, so I will rename both, top one to car and a bottom one to wheel. I will toggle off wheel layer for a while cause we don't need to see it yet. Now we can make a car coming out transition, so scroll to car only layer and then we will need Z position. So make sure to enable 3D on car only layer and then press P on a keyboard. Without enabling 3D, you won't be able to control Z position. Let's scroll to the end of a car only layer and then click on position stopwatch icon to create a default keyframe. Now scroll to the very beginning and then bump up Z position to move the car far from the camera. Let's correct X and Y positions as well. Once you are happy with it, scroll to the middle and move Z position closer to the camera. I will move Y position down a bit and then select all keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Let's check it. Looks fine to me. Transition is ready and now we can animate the wheel as well. Let's toggle it on and then make sure you are at the beginning of a car only layer and then while wheel layer is selected press P on a keyboard. Here as well, enable 3D on a wheel layer to make it 3D. Now click on position stopwatch icon and then scroll forward a bit and move the wheel to the right or left, it's up to you. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Let's check it. Cool, but now we have that issue, the car is above the wheel and to fix it easy, just make sure to enable 3D on a masked car layer as well. And here we go, it's fixed, but if you play the video, you will see another issue, the car is inside the wheel and it doesn't pop out from there, to fix it, we can use several methods. We can mask the car layer, but it will take so long, we can also roto brush it and it will take so long as well, let's be smart and use the easiest method. Just scroll to the moment where the car is almost to come out something like this and make sure it doesn't touch the wheel. Now duplicate car layer and cut the beginning of a duplicated one till that moment. And now simply disable 3D on a duplicated one and check the video. And that's it, it's fixed easy and quick. I have seen too many people are just losing their times by masking the whole car clip and that's the biggest mistake you can do too. So make sure to use this easy method and save your time. Let's now enable motion blur on all masked layers and the effect is finished, but to make it look even more better, I will add shakes from my pack. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.